while general relativity beautifully explains the macroscopic world of gravity and massive objects the microscopic realm of particles is governed by quantum mechanics the quest for a unified theory of physics often referred to as theory of everything before existence manifested in its physical nature there was time this is called mahakala that is an eternal space you're not watching my words i'm saying an eternal space before we dive into space time let's watch sadguru's video the most beautiful thing about time is if you do something it passes by if you do nothing it passes by if you're joyful it passes by if you're miserable it passes by it's absolutely just no matter who you are how you are for everybody it passes at the same speed only thing is our experience of the time could be different depending upon how intensely we live or how slack we are if you're very slack with life it looks like time is passing by very slowly if you're very intense time just flies by but in reality time is happening to all of us at the same pace these cycles of time <clears throat> whether it's minutes or hours or days or months or years that go by these cycles of time <clears throat> anything that cyclical is naturally repetitive but anything that is cyclical also has a centrifuge or a centrifugal force a force which is always trying to go away at a tangent from the circle if you ride this centrifugal force of time we say you are spiritual if you are caught up in the cycle of time then that's being material if you are crushed by the cycles of time then we say you are a suffering creature it is the same cycle either you can be crushed by the cycle or you can be trapped in the cycle or you can ride the cycle to ride the cycles of time not to be trapped in it definitely not to be crushed by it time is a crushing experience for a lot of people yes <laughs> anything cyclical has this ability that it can crush you or it can trap you or you can ride it <clears throat> in the yogic way of looking at things we see time time is referred to as kala kala 
be… means both time and space. Kala means darkness. Darkness means <clears throat> that which does not stop light. Understand? No, sir. If there is light going by, you won't see it. Only if it's stopped by something, you see it. So that which does not stop light is called darkness. So, that which does not stop light is empty space. So both space and time are referred to as color because they are not seen as two different entities. Only because there is time, space is possible. Because there is time, you can move from point A to point B, so there is space. If there was no time, there was no way to move. The general perception is that because there is space, there is time. But I don't see it that way. Because there is time, there is space. Now, <clears throat> there is time which happens because of cycles. The planet spins once, it's a day. The moon goes around the planet, it's a month. The planet goes around the sun, here we are today. <clears throat> the cycles of time are one dimension of time. There's another dimension of time which is not… which is beyond the cyclical nature. This we call as the great time, it's called the Mahakala. There is time and there is greater time. Even when there are no cycles, there is time. But where there is no cyclical movement, there is no physical happening. Everything that's physical in the universe, from what is atomic to what is cosmic, everything is cyclical. If there are no cycles happening, there is no physical possible. When I said, if you take a tangent or if you take the centrifugal to ride away from the cycles of time, That means being spiritual, it's in this context that we know the cycles of time only because of physical reality. If we could measure, if we could measure, what is the speed of an electron around the proton or neutron? We could keep time, atomic time a bit too much for us. So we measured the planets, how much time it takes to go around the sun. We said it's a year. We went little further down to days and hours and minutes and seconds. But all of them are cycles of the physical existence. If there is no physical existence, we would not know anything that's cyclical. If we did not know what is cyclical moment, we would not know the cyclical nature of the time. But before existence manifested in its physical nature, there was time. 
This is called Mahakala, that is an eternal space. You're not watching my words. I'm saying an eternal space. When there was no movement, when everything was still, there was time but nothing cyclical happening. That dimension of time into which everything dissolved and from which everything sprang up, when certain energy touched it, it took to cyclical moment. When cyclical moment happened, physical happened. When physical happened, we could measure time. Otherwise, time was just space. So the word kala means both time and space. Exploring the mysteries of space-time, let's embark on a journey through the fascinating realm of space-time, a concept that stretches the limit of our understanding and challenges the very fabric of reality itself. Let's start with the basics. Space-time is not just a term used in science fiction. It is a fundamental concept in the field of theoretical physics. Coined by Albert Einstein, space-time is a four-dimensional framework that combines the three dimensions of space. Space-time is a four-dimensional framework that combines the three dimensions of space with the fourth dimension of time. It provides a unified way of describing the fabric of the universe. Einstein's theory of general relativity to truly appreciate space-time, we must dwell into Einstein's groundbreaking theory of general relativity, formulated over a century ago. This theory revolutionized our understanding of gravity by depicting it not as a force between masses as described by Newton, but rather as the warping or bending of space-time caused by massive objects. Imagine space-time as a rubber sheet and massive objects like planets and stars as heavily balls placed on this sheet. The presence of these masses causes the sheet or space-time to curve. Light, which always travels in a straight line through space-time, follows this curved path around massive objects, creating what we observe as gravitational attraction. Black holes One of the most captivating consequences of general relativity is the prediction and existence of black holes. These enigmatic cosmic entities are formed when massive stars exhaust their nuclear fuel and collapse under their own gravity. The gravitational pull around the black hole is so intense that not even light can escape its grasp, rendering them invisible to the naked eye. Black holes exemplify the extreme warping of space-time, creating what scientists refer to as singularity, a point of infinite density at the heart of the celestial giants. Studying black holes not only unveil the secrets of space-time but also serves as a testing ground for the limits of our current understanding of physics. Time dilation Another mind-bending concept associated with space-time is time dilation, a phenomenon predicted by Einstein's theory. As objects move through space or experience stronger gravitational fields, time for them slows down relatively to an observer in a different frame of reference. Astronauts abroad high-speed spacecraft or near massive celestial bodies experience time differently than those on Earth. This has practical implications for space-time and forms the basis of technology like the global position system, where corrections must be made for the relativistic effects of both speed and gravity quantum mechanics and space-time. While general relativity beautifully explains the macroscopic world of gravity and massive objects, the microscopic realm of particles is governed by quantum mechanics. The quest for a unified theory of physics, often referred to as theory of everything, seeks to reconcile these two seemingly incompatible frameworks. String theory and loop quantum gravity are among the contenders for such a theory. String theory, for instance, envisions that the fundamental building blocks of the universe are not particles but tiny vibrating strings. These strings dance through space-time, giving rise to the diverse phenomena we observe. While still speculative, these theories represent our ongoing efforts to unravel the mysteries of space-time at both the largest and the smallest scales. 
general relativity a cosmic dance of gravity and geometry einstein's theory of general relativity not only redefined our understanding of gravity but also presented gravity as a warping of space time a dynamic four dimensional stage upon which celestial bodies perform a cosmic dance imagine planets stars and galaxies as actors in this grand production their motions dictated by the curvature of space time caused by their masses one fascinating consequence of this cosmic dance is the phenomenon of gravitational waves predicted by einstein a century ago and finally observed in 2015 gravitational waves are ripples in space time caused by the acceleration of massive objects these are echoes of celestial events such as the collision of two black holes across the vast cosmic expanse portals to the unknown black holes often described as cosmic cubbies are nothing but ordinary at their core lies a singularity a point of infinite density where our understanding of physics breaks down the event horizon the boundary beyond which nothing can escape the gravitational pull adds an element of mystery to these celestial objects recent advancements such as the imaging of the event horizon of the supermassive black hole at the center of the galaxy M87 have allowed us to peer into the abyss and witness the sheer power of these gravitational behemoths by studying the behavior of matter and light around black holes scientists aim to unravel the secrets of space time in its most extreme conditions time travel and wormholes Navigating the fabric of space-time not only influences our perception of time but also tantalizingly hints at the possibility of time travel. While time travel remains a speculative concept, the mathematics of general relativity allows for the existence of hypothetical tunnels that could connect distant points in space-time. Wormholes serve as the stuff of science fiction, often depicted as gateways to different eras or distant corners of the universe. While no experimental evidence supports the existence of wormholes, their theoretical underpinnings spark the imagination and challenge as to the ponder the nature of space-time in ways that stretch the boundaries of our understanding. As we journey from the grand scale of general relativity to the microscopic world governed by quantum mechanics, we encounter a fundamental challenge reconciling these two disparate realms. The current model of quantum mechanics and general relativity break down in extreme conditions such as those found within the core of black holes or at the moment of big bang. In conclusion, our exploration of space-time from the cosmic dance choreographed by general relativity to the mysterious depths of black holes and the microscopic symphony of string theory reveals a universe both wondrous and perplexing. The quest to understand the nature of space-time is an ongoing adventure marked by breakthroughs that reshape our comprehension of the cosmos. Let us embrace the challenges that space-time presents and celebrate the human spirit of exploration and discovery. The mysteries of space-time beacon us to venture further into the cosmos where each revelation brings us closer to unraveling the intricacies of this four-dimensional tapestry that enshrouds the universe. Thank you for joining me for this extended exploration of space time. May our collective curiosity and scientific endeavor continue to illuminate the vast cosmic landscape that surrounds us.